I recently launched a poll a couple weeks ago to see how you guys felt about me sharing some of my routine ideas. And so one of the options to vote for was, yes, more routine tutorials. One was stick with moves, the slides like I normally do. The 79% of you voted that a healthy mix of both would be cool. So, my friends, that is what we're going to do starting today. What is up, folks? Welcome back to Ever So Slight. Jorge Anito here. Thanks for stopping by once again. Welcome, Welcome to Practical Magic, a new segment where I share some of my routines and ideas for routines with you guys. So for the first episode, we are going to look at a sandwich effect that I've been playing around with for a few months now. I call it Gasoline Sandwich. It sounds yummy, I know. But without any further ado, let's get into it. So you just want to start out with a pair of your choosing on top of the deck. Now you could do this impromptu if you, like me, are not a fan of prior setups. You know, you could simply show the spectator the, the cards, or, and in the meantime you could call a pair to the top. You could do it that way. Once you're where you need to be, as far as having your pair on top, you're going to go into a hand-to-hand -hand spread and just have the spectator reach out and touch any card. Let's say they touch this one, you would up jog it or out jog it you pull out the selection and showing them what their card is now you want to control the card to the top i use the louise control which is very similar to uh, daniel garcia's ego slip it's just a very you know in the action of placing the card in the middle i'm actually placing it on top allowing my ring finger to come in enter the break dragging out one card and then coming away so the action should look like like this right and you switched it out for an indifferent card you could also do bow to stern if you're not a fan of that one so you'll show them uh, their card or this is actually chris ramsey seamless which is a variation um, of the bow to stern whatever method you choose the selection needs to end up on top of the pair. From there, you go into, you know, some, some false cuts. But then you're going to do one final cut, maintaining a break. And then once you're in this position, you're just simply going to maintain the break and go into a spread. Where you come to a stop, when you come to the break, you're going to push over one card two card which is the selection and one of the pair uh, one of the queens in this instance and then you're gonna and then you're gonna break with this hand you're gonna use this hand's spread to turn over the first queen or the first card now in that action they're really not the spectator is not really they don't know what's going on. You don't introduce this effect as a sandwich effect. The idea is just to kind of go right into this trick. Um, so you just have them make a selection and then you go right into this. So you flip over the one queen and then your thumb pops over the other queen and deposit and you let go of their selection and essentially traps their selection right there in between the queens. From there you can up jog everything, extract it, show that their card indeed was found by a pair, two queens. So one more time, once you have the selection controlled to the top, you're doing the cut, maintaining the break, and then you go into a spread. Once you come to the break, you're gonna push over one card, two cards you push over two cards i don't know why i have to say it like that <laughs> and you're going to uh, break the spread in this hand you're going to push over a card which is the queen or one of the pair you're going to come over 
and just let the fan just let this spread kind of almost rest over the the card that they see because this obviously isn't their card right so you're going to come over like this you're going to pop up one more and you're just going to let go of their selection and it's essentially trapped and when you do this correctly it should look it should have a a visually pleasing um, aesthetic to it and that my friends is gasoline sandwich hey I just want to say I really appreciate you guys uh, for continuing to support me let me know what you think in the comments below about the new segment practical magic and uh, keeping keeping the routines going as well as still continuing to share some slights and ideas that I have with those as well I really appreciate you. Jorge Anito here, ever so slight, signing off. Be blessed.